Hello dear friends, that's me. So we will do a uh, makeup and I always feel that uh, there is no point you look at me doing makeup because I, I do not have any skill in it. Oh, I have some problem because short of vitamin C. I think because of traveling. I think if I only do this makeup, it does not make any sense, make any contribution to the internet and society. So, mm -hmm. so I am thinking maybe I will use this opportunity to do one either. Um, Philosophical makeup or uh, informational makeup. This one I will do asking for your help. A lot of you may be able to help me. Let me finish my face. So the problem, the, the matter that I need your help is frozen shoulder. Uh, I do not know if this is the right word to describe it. In Chinese we call it Wu Shi Jian. Wu Shi is 50. Five zero fifty. Jian is shoulder, so it's fifty years old shoulder. So this problem happens mostly to the people of fifty years old. Fifty may be just a, a, a word for middle age, but uh, <clears throat> it's for the middle age people. People coming to middle age often have this problem that shoulder got uh, frozen shoulder that is not easy to move. If you can see the right hand, I can move very comfortably and the left hand, I can only move to this stage and I cannot bend down and have a lot of difficulty. Um, I do experience some pain but no big deal. Pain is not a big deal in this, uh, in this situation, in my case. It's mostly, yes, it is pain, but uh, the pain does not uh, keep me away from my movement. It's the movement itself that uh, when I want to move, that I feel uh, my shoulder is, is pain. So <clears throat> I went to see the doctor and uh, I went to Carol practice physical therapy and uh, in the physical therapy they teach they did some massage she was very good a wonderful doctor a wonderful physical therapist and um, she gave me massage and then uh, taught me some uh, some exercises some movements and it helped a lot and then I went to China and stopped it and uh, um, during the physical therapy session the end 10 minutes I will do a uh, half an hour massage and uh, 20 minutes exercise learning new tricks and uh, the last 10 minutes is uh, Sitting down, put a piece of ice on my shoulder and uh, and um, calm down the calm down uh, the pain. And uh, I like uh, most of them, but uh, I totally, totally, totally do not like the end section that is put ice on um, on my shoulder. 
put a piece of ice and then wipe it up and then I was sitting there for 10 minutes and uh, I went back to Beijing and um, I talked with my friends. All my friends are older than 50 years old and uh, I think this is it's so accurate and exactly at 50 I start to have this problem. Mm. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> they all had this problem and they all exercise and they all get good. So um, I know this might be able to, I can, I can recover from it, but uh, it's only saying so when you are experiencing the difficulty, the problem, you really lost vision, lost your view of the whole picture. So if you have any suggestion on how to how to deal with this, how to solve this, please let me know. I went to Beijing and uh, asked my sister, and my sister said, you, you can go to Chinese medicine. So I went to Chinese medicine and they did that, uh, that uh, air fire, fire pot. So they put a piece of fire, uh, piece of, a little pot and then fire and then put it in, suck it up. Um, my shoulder and um, it was very disappointing because I didn't have enough fat, uh, enough meat, enough flesh, enough fat. To, so the shoulder is a little bit, so it, it doesn't work well and, uh, and it always come out, come out and it was extremely pain. It was very pain and um, and uh, um, it was very pain and I all, all bruised black and purple, so dark. It's almost like black color. And then I had some Chinese uh, uh, acupuncture. And at the end, it, uh, it was too short time. I was in Beijing totally for one week. And I went there and from the third day, second day or third day, I went there every day and it was it was quite a, a painful experience and uh, it improved. But most importantly, what I have learned is that uh, I need to avoid cold. So this is why I do not like the um, uh, physical therapy put on ice on it. And uh, my friends told me, friends in Beijing told me that usually it comes from cold because we are driving here, we drive and on the left side there is air conditioning or, or wind, the window when we drive, so that's one of the problem. And I just got one friend asking me, she also had the same problem, she's from Australia and she had right shoulder problem and I had another friend who is uh, who is uh, who does not drive and uh, her husband drives so he had she had a, a, a right shoulder so usually it's the place that you get air conditioning or you get cold or you did not move that much so when I was in Beijing I, I, I uh, ride on um, on um, public transportation and also even in Paris on um, metro and uh, in Beijing the subway I stretch myself and do as much as I can to do the exercise it helped me a lot and um, and also some Chinese medicine really works wonderful for it I have some I bought some new makeup please wait show you. I bought three lipsticks and this time I finished one lipstick and then I was thinking, gosh, if you have the right color and the right thing, you will enjoy it. And if you compromise and just because it's new, you want to try something, 
and you want to buy something cheap, you end up sometimes not having the right color. Throw it away and uh, just get the right thing. It makes your life so much easier. This one is a new, I think it's a new product from, from uh, L'Oreal. Uh, I like something new. I always like this pen style. And also, I have a little bead. Bead wax with most, yeah, bird, bird's bees. This is also good. Just get the right color and it save you so much. Ooh, look at this. We will see if it is good. Not bad. This this goes with cold color, closing some um, blue color, purple color, and I think this one goes with the with the hot color. Something like yellow, orange. Oh, this is good. Not bad. It just does not match with this clothing. I'm sure this will be uh, the one that I keep in my pocket and use it all the time. And use it until I finish it. I like it. Get the right thing, get the good thing is good for you. Anyway, if you have any suggestion how to do movement for left shoulder, I do movement, I do this way, that way. And when I walk, I walk as much as I, I do movement as much as I can. Let's see. So, for example, I do movement. I walk. Oh, oh my gosh. I walk like this. Throw my arm as much as I can, and uh, also, oh gosh, and uh, yeah, just do whatever kind of movement that can allow me to to do this. And also, I found some Chinese medicine very effective, uh, the patch and uh, the heating things. If you have any suggestion, if you have any experience in it, please let me know. It will help me. It will have help many other people who also suffer this problem. Let's make this a forum to exchange experience, to exchange knowledge, to exchange the tricks. Okay, bye-bye friends. I got to go. See you later, alligator. Am I okay? Cut my hair. Two days. This should be a little bit higher. See if I can do an outfit of the day for today.